Hey everybody, it's Ben here. It snowed last night, it's still snowing. It wasn't the foot of snow that the weather forecast called for, only about half that much. I'm a little bit disappointed because yesterday I put a snow thrower attachment on my 1970s electric lawn and garden tractor. So let's try out the electric snow thrower, see how it performs. So right away I kind of did something wrong. Uh, I forgot to lower the snow thrower before getting started so that first section uh, did not get scraped all the way down to the driveway at all. And then I backed up, I gunked up the auger, um, also somehow I had a piece of wire stuck in there. Um, so this wasn't working right, uh, right out of the gate. Fortunately there's a nice power disconnect on the side of the tractor to totally power it down before cleaning the auger or any other work like that. Then when actually plowing, now that I got everything working the way it's supposed to, uh, just going forward at regular speed here, it really worked quite well. Um, just drove forward, throws all the snow off to the side, works great. Here's the view from the driver's seat. You can see it's a pretty good throw going off to the side here. And then when I got all the way to the end of the driveway, it was almost two feet tall of packed snow from the county plow going by. Um, I kind of had to go forward and back a little bit. Uh, it actually cut pretty well, um, but it was, it was thick, hard stuff. But here we go, plowing right through that. So up on this end, you can see the snow is actually pretty close to the um, same height as the auger. So that's really physically about the maximum amount of snow that this could do. But the other thing is this is the, this is some really heavy snow. Um, I'll need to double check the belt on this too. That's one suggestion somebody said is make sure the drive belt on the auger here is really good and tight. The snow thrower really worked great, uh, just going in a straight line. Uh, one of the things to watch out for was the wind changing direction. So a few times I had to switch from one side to the other to keep the snow from just blowing back in my face. Um, I did have to do some hand shoveling around the cars, but overall this really saved me a lot of work. I'm getting the hang of this, really! So here I'm just raising the snow thrower backing up and repositioning for some of the really thick heavy stuff at the end of the driveway. Um, this is that heavy packed snow pushed uh, into my driveway uh, by the county plow. So here I actually got a tape measure. Uh, I had to measure it. Uh, it was a solid 24 inches, uh, two feet of packed snow that I was able to use the snow thrower to move instead of doing it by hand. When I was all done, it was just time to put the snow thrower back away in the garage. So overall, I have to say I was very happy with the performance of the electric lawn tractor with the snow thrower attachment on the front. Once I kind of got the hang of things, because I've never done this before, um, it really worked very well. It's great in a straight line. Uh, this was about six inches of snow. Um, at drifting points, it was about 16 inches deep. And then where the plow comes through, it was up to two feet of uh, the packed snow from the plow pass. So more than anything, I'm just glad I didn't have to move all the snow by myself. Um, I did also check the batteries and I pretty much used up my entire charge um, doing the snow throwing here. Just for reference, the batteries that are in the Electrac right now were originally in my electric Geo Metro and that was from 10 years ago now. So I'm gonna go back inside where it's warm now, but until next time, stay charged up.